Hi, my name is Daniel Govar, and I'm going to be drawing an android of some sort. Begin by doing just a rough of uh, the facial structure. Just a light pencil. And then I'm going to move on to ink. This is really just to put the uh, base shadows in. So one of the first things that I do is uh, figure out where the light is coming from. Um, in watercolor, it's really important to know your light source. Um, so my light source is basically going to be almost like a spot right on his eye. I want that to be the focal point, so I want the highlight to be right there. And then from there, my darker shadows are going to be further in the background. So this is just the sort of the rough structure. Um, and that's all the ink I'm going to do for now. Um, I like to spend most of the time actually in watercolor. First thing I'm going to do is lay down what I call underpainting. Uh, one of the color theory, um, one of the things about color theory is uh, darker colors like blues and the cool tones tend to recede, while warm tones bring things forward. So I'm going to use Payne's gray, a little bit of Prussian blue. And I'm going to quickly put down some of my shadows. They're all going to be on that far side of the face. I also do this technique uh, called rolling, where you can actually use a, this is a Japanese sumi brush. Uh, I, I bring two or three different colors into the same brush. And if you roll your brush, it'll actually put three or four different colors in the same stroke. So I'm just using blues these background elements, and then fading by rolling the brush. At the base of the brush is nothing but water, and then the color's in the tip. So as you roll it, it fades it out. Remember the first time somebody taught me that, it was like, oh, that's so much easier. And I'm going to take uh, a lamp black with a lot of water in it and paint some of the metallic forms. Using a tinier brush, I'm then going to take, hmm, what color do we want the eyes to be? Red, blue, let's do red. And to make glowing eyes, I'll just fade that out. Putting some of the uh, detail in it. I want him to be kind of an older, some filigree up here, uh, kind of an older robot or android, something that's been around for a while. Maybe used as a sparring robot of some sort. We're gonna make him all rusted and busted up. One of the things about watercolor is it's all layers. Um, you can do blends, but Layering tends to be more effective to uh, really create texture. I tend to have um, black and white stuff that you know I'm hoping someone will ask me for because it's faster. Um, but I, I tend to have people wanting the watercolor stuff more than anything. I do covers for uh, Valiant and Marvel and various various publishers, so that tends to be the things that they ask for. I get Batman in the rain a lot. Um, watercolor and, in particular, uh, rain. Uh, watercolor is, is very good for rain, so you can just kind of like let the water run over it, and letting the water run through everything tends to give it that watery, you know, rain-soaked effect. So now we're going to add some detail. One of the things I like to do is put uh, contrasting colors in. Uh, so we're going to use kind of a gold to do the filigree details. How did I get into this? Um, a bet? <laughs> I know it sounds terrible, but somebody bet me that I couldn't win a contest that DC Comics had. 
uh, it was kind of like American Idol for comics. It was called Zuda. And it was a, uh, you submit eight pages of a comic book that you want to do um, to uh, the publisher and they um, put it up on the website and people vote on their favorite comic. Uh, it's one of ten comics and mine just happened to be the one that won. But a friend sent me the link as a bet saying, I bet you can't win this. So a bet got me into it. <laughs> the rest is history. So now I'm using a, uh, right now, a, what is this? Quinacronine orange, or uh, rust, to kind of give it this rusty texture. He looks a little meek. My backstory on this guy is he's been, uh, he's been doing this a long time and really hates it. There we go. It's funny, the thing that I'm working on right now is a um, children's book that's uh, currently up on Kickstarter. <laughs> it's called Mr. Trunk Builds a Wall. It's about an elephant that lives in a big white house. <laughs> uh, with kids' books, um, there are no black lines. You don't use any black lines like you use in uh, a lot of comic book printing. Um, typically, it's a... Uh, um, I use watercolor pencils to do a lot of the line work. Um, so it's more colored lines. Everything's softer. More vibrant, too. It's fun, though. It's a nice departure. It was on my bucket list, too, of uh, things to work on. Now let's make those eyes pop a little more, and I think we're, uh, we're good. This guy looks over-caffeinated. Normally, I would go back in and hit little white points, but I forgot my white. <laughs> this is just minor details, just to break up the form a little bit and make him a little cracked. Right there. Hi, I'm Daniel Govar and this is my Android. <laughs>